you're very well aware that uh, you are seeing flows being realigned. Look at supply chain. Companies are redesigning their supply chain. They want to be more resilient, uh, more secure. They want to uh, de-risk uh, some of the uh, risks that they face when it comes to supply chain management. Uh, and you're seeing flows coming to this region um, where companies then uh, ensuring that when they expand, uh, they choose ASEAN or Southeast Asia and Malaysia, which of course a big beneficiary of that, uh, especially when you look at the trade war that's happening between US and China. It's actually a tech war. Uh, and when you look at tech war, um, it's really the semiconductor sector, the e and &E sector are the one that's most critical and most strategic. Uh, and Singapore, Malaysia especially, have been in this industry for a while. In Malaysia, in the semiconductor space, has been here more than 50 years. Therefore, we have a, a, a competitive advantage and we're seeing flows coming here as companies who perhaps would have expanded uh, in China or in other countries, in Taiwan, etc., is now thinking Malaysia as uh, an, an option, a, a good option to have uh, their expansion. So I just want to pick up on something you mentioned about the trade war being beneficial, possibly for Malaysia, because these supply chains Relocating Malaysia, we're seeing that happen for both the U.S. and China. Mm. Um, in fact, some argue that maybe a uh, second Trump presidency might actually be beneficial to Malaysia. <laughs> but we've also seen that it's very possible that, uh, you know, we see on the side of the U.S. that they might even target Chinese investments. Mm. And thus also might say, hey, because you have Chinese investments, we don't want to do business with you. Is this a risk that's worth um, preparing for? Especially for a country like Malaysia that wants to stay trade neutral and trade friendly to all parties that's becoming harder and harder to manage as things get hotter and hotter in the geopolitical stage we are uh, aware uh, of that possibility we have heard about the possibility that companies uh, that are based in china who are operating in southeast asia and vietnam or singapore or even malaysia uh, might be imposed certain tariffs going forward uh, because they are of their ownership Right, rather than the country of origin, right? Um, especially in areas where they feel that the technology or, or, or sector that is very strategic. Right? Again, we mentioned semiconductor. You know, even people are talking about simple things like even solar panels. Uh, they are saying that look, um, these are technology based from China. Therefore, they are Chinese company. Uh, we are exporting. Uh, they are relocating just for to circumvent the, the tariffs. So far, to be fair, uh, to date, not yet. Right? Not yet. Meaning, could be. <laughs> Um, so, you know, um, companies are already asking us that question as well. Uh, well. The problem is we don't have an answer to that because uh, we, we, we don't know, right? Uh, but the possibility is always there. Uh, so uh, I think what the companies are telling us, they are planning for certain mitigation. Uh, I think they are looking at more using uh, local uh, components and finding local partners. I think those are the ways to mitigate it. Uh, because, uh, to be fair, um, I mean, country of origin is how WTO recognizes it. If components are also from Malaysia, let's say uh, solar, what is one of the key raw materials uh, to make solar panels, which is the glass, is silica, right? And most of that is from this region, uh, none from China. But maybe the technology is from China. So how do you differentiate that, right? Uh, because, so it, it's tricky. Um, I think we need to continue this engagement, uh, but you are right, uh, whatever it is, I think this region, um, Malaysia, Singapore, and many other ASEAN countries, oh, it's important that we continue to remain uh, neutral uh, to ensure that um, the, the, this region continues to be peaceful and stable.